That trial seven years ago was the beginning of it all. This I know beyond a doubt. The miseries of the past work their magic on the present. But you'll still be finding all this out for yourself. Which of Magnifique Grimart's disciples pulled that trigger? Where did the vanishing defendant Zach Grimarte go? What dark truth lurks behind the forged diary page? And what about the girl who was left behind? The Mason system. The past left us these four keys to unlocking the truth. That's not all. There are four keys in the present as well. When all the questions have found their answers, the final trial will begin. But first, you must chase the truth through then and now. Think of it as a game. Oh, hi Phoenix. I, Phoenix Wright, will be your guide through this game. That terrible trial saw me present forged evidence. It ended, half finished with the defendant vanished. What became of me after that? As the investigation proceeds, the answer will become clear. Oh, and one more thing. There's something I must tell you. As Apollo Justice has his own has his bracelet, so too do I have my own weapon of sorts. My Magatama. What does it do, you ask? That would have you see for yourself. Well, no. Shall we begin? Touch the air to twitch between the past and present. But let's begin seven years ago. In the past. It's right after my last trial I came to a abrupt bend. Now that you know the game, let's play. Okay. Uh, I guess the Fennet Lobby? Sure. The nightmare trial was over, and the new nightmare of figuring out what had happened had just begun. I wanted to wake up, to walk away, but I figured I'm the only one who could do this, probably. And besides, I had plenty of time. Thanks to the Bar Association Review Board's decision. It's hard to work when your attorney's badge has been taken away. Seven years ago, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Didn't think I'd be back here for a while. Didn't want to have to remember that day. Though I deeply regret having declared a verdict in this way. This trial is over. Ah, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Zack. There is one thing I wish to make clear. Today, in the courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. And then he disappeared. Mr. Igmar! The Internet escaped. Find them quick. Bailiff, close all access from the building. I'm the devil. He must have been allowed to escape. I came here on that fateful morning. I still had my badge. But now, like an amputated limb, I can still feel it itching. Where do I start? I don't even have the authority to investigate. Hey, you there, sir. Down the hands, floor on your head. Now, now, now. What's the big deal? What's the big idea? My ears. No unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in here. But that would mean all unauthorized personnel are allowed. <gasps> I just say it like it is, sir. It's usually wrong. Throw it out of the precinct. I lost my friends, my girl, and even my wallet. We've met before, haven't we? Yeah, this this I've seen this guy recently, actually. Oh, I have recently. But otherwise, it's been a while. On a case two years ago? Yeah. No recollection of that, sir. Huh? For me, what kind of case is always in the present pr progressive tense, sir? There is no past, there's only now, sir! Okay, okay. You're the bailiff, right? Yes, sir! Kurt Bailiff Mike Beacon's at your service, sir. Um. Let's meet with the bailiff at the court at this court who let the magician escape. Let me try to make this absolutely clear as possible for you, sir. It was me, sir. But but you were a regular police officer. You're a regular police officer once, right? Right? 
Sometimes bad things happen to good people, sir. Something tells me it's a long story. Let's not go with there. So you're in charge of the security at the time of the finishing. <gasps> I'm dying over here! Oh, oh, it's a hard duck life, sir. Throw down the precinct. Lost my friends. My girl. Even my wallet. Guess I wasn't the only victim. Oh, Meekins. It never goes well for it, does it? You should, you should go, you should go, you know, be a mascot or something. It would suit you better. Well, maybe not, actually. But, Meekins. Last time we met, you were a police officer, right? In fact, you're still wearing a uniform. <laughs> Sir, I wish I didn't have to tell you this. <laughs> but last year, I tried to soak a rising star at the precinct. I lost my case files four times in three days. They fired me. That takes real talent, actually. They don't know what they're missing. So here I am, sir. First I start from square one. A lowly bailiff. But your uniform... I took it with me as a souvenir the day I was fired. That can't be illegal. So, you're the one who let the magician get away that day. I'm dying over here! A, a rising star right among the court bailiffs of full of hope. Then tragedy strikes. There's something you can tell me about it? About Zachary Marte's disappearance? Oh! The humanity! That's enough of that. <laughs> well, yes, I'd say it was around 2... 2 p.m. when I heard a combustion court. I opened the door to see that one might be a miss. The door slams open! Slam! And some guy's face is right in front of me! Face! So, you saw someone's face coming your way. Yes, and I, being a bailiff for a little standing, gave chase! I chased that silk head all the way down the hall, sir. I have a diagram of the court building here. That doesn't look quite what I remember, but okay. Ah, that's that's court number seven. That's where I was, sir. All by myself. Never a friend to come my own. Okay, and where did which way did Zach Marte run after bursting through the courtroom door? He went up like this and around the corner like that. So I went on delay. Right after no delay. I turned the corner. I saw the mission man run into the defendant lobby. Swiftly I ran, following him I threw myself boldly into the door, into the room. Well, I remember it was like it was yesterday, because it was, it was, it, it was. Defendant lobby number two, sir. You ran into this room. Hmm, I don't see any place to hide in here. They ran out, sir, I didn't believe it. Here, this room, the musician, gone, vanished like a puff of smoke. Except there wasn't even any smoke, he was just gone. It's impossible. Yes, that, that word. Oh, how many times have I said that word? It is not cause of indescribable pain. I'm dying. I'm dying over here! Okay, I won't say it again, promise. But if you admit, it's a, uh, it's uh, uh, difficult to vanish into thin air. Do you search the lobby? I searched. Why the pause? Th 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 there was th th nothing here at all, sir. That's right, nothing was here, sir! How can you talk so loud and still be hiding something? The vanishing trick. Tell me. So Beck was in this room when he vanished. Absolutely, sir. I saw my own eye. Eyes. The red silk hat. The flowing cape. He ran right in here. Right inside this room. Silk hat. Cape. That's Zach, all right. But, sir, look at the room. There's not a single place to hide. Sir, there's nothing I can do. But, but nothing, sir. What about now? Have you, have you any ideas? Sir! I, I, ideas about what exactly, sir? If you don't want me asking. Had quite a bit of time since then. There's nothing occurred to you at all. Do you have any idea what trick he might have used to disappear like that? Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna lock me, Meekins. Psych locks. I should have known. My Katama, one of my most prized possessions. I got during a certain case. Um. A year ago. You can try to lock some people's hearts. And if you unlock their hearts, they'll tell me their secrets. I can tell it at all. No one ever ends it. Do I have evidence for that? What? Okay, what evidence do I have? I have the crime photo. The autopsy report. The notebook page. The ID. Syringe. The letters. The pistol. The diary. Mm, I mean, I'll give it a go. Sure. 
The Despairing Trick. Okay, Mr. Meekins. What do you know? Spit it out. <laughs> hey! Who, who, who took the atmosphere in here all of a sudden? You know something, I'm gonna find out what. Second Marty vanished from this room. How did he do it? <laughs> How, sir? Uh, well, sir, I can't. I. Uh, sir! Why are you so nervous if you aren't hiding in something? Well, sir, as you can see, at the time I was here and. <gasps> Listen! It was impossible! I, I, to, what could such a little girl do possibly anyway? What did you say? Uh, sir, did I just say something, sir? No, you screamed at the, that nugget for one of yours. There was someone else in this room, was it there? Sir, I'm gonna have to invoke my right to remain in the state of not talking. It's okay, Meekins. You don't have to tell me exactly what confidence was. I knew it was here in the room that day. It was a little thirsty. Uh, sir, 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 sir. Uh, I was never seeing that girl until the other day. Mr. Eakins, I'm not buying it. Sir! There's one. Sir, that day she was here in this room, sir. But he wasn't. You mean, you chased her in this room, but not him. Sir, in my days as a police officer, literally days, I learned a thing or two. Okay, just one thing. But it is how not to mistake a girl for a seven foot tall position. Seven feet? Zach isn't that tall, is he? You have a point. I find it hard to imagine anyone who's fake a little girl for Zach or Marty's hair. But you saw something. And therein lines the trick. I think you know what it was, Mr. Weekins. Tell me, did this trick look familiar? I don't have evidence for this. Never mind. Let's go look around and, co and come back later. I don't know what could be at the detention center, but let's start there. Seven years ago, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, Valente, hello. What strange check doth mine eyes behold? Excuse me. Two men on either side of a single transparent pane. Yet it seems fickle where fate is with sides, so to speak. The forger of fakes walks freely. While the innocent languishes in this f within these plexiglass confines. There's no proof that I forged anything. No proof that I took the life of my dear mentor. Yet these chains cannot hold me for long. The stage awaits. And what may I ask awaits you? A little piano and a little cold hole in the wall. But since you are here, what shall we discuss? Shooting a magnifique Marte for one. Who pulled that trigger, Valent or his partner Zack? His partner vanished before the answer could be found. I'm gonna need closer to the truth, this is the place to start. Sure. The trial. I have to hand it to my partner. He knows how to make an exit. That's talent. Yes, he made my attorney's bed just appear, and he never even touched it. Glorious spotlight always leaves someone weeping in the shadows, and his very disappearance itself is a revelation. Revealing what? Dr. Marte killed Mendicuki. It's good as a signed confession. That's certainly been the public opinion's take on it. I go tired of my cage, and the time my release is near, I must go and prepare. Planning on jumping back to the magi magic right away. As long as the audience awaits with bated breath, there will be a villain, and also, yes. Now that my partner has disappeared, now anything is repertoire is mine. Valent Carmarte is a tradition to uphold. Is that true? See, in this light, the trial is quite good to me, Vertigo. And you can't pay for that kind of publicity. Blackmail. Tradition on you hasn't lifted entirely, Valent. After all, you received one of those letters, too. You're just obligated to follow Magnifique's instructions as her partner. So I was, but only Zekramate followed them. Let's not speak any more of who shot what. Now that my partner has vanished, the question is moot. I'm more interested in learning something else, actually. What might that be? I want to know what Magnifique had up his sleeve. I'm going to coerce you and your partner to kill him. The trick up his sleeve. <laughs> 
Perhaps you do not know. Know what? Great magician never reveals his secrets. Oh boy, four of them. I didn't think it would be that easy. The audience must wait forever. In the audience. Bathing in the reflected glow of the spotlight. Okay, I definitely don't have evidence for you. Well. Well, I might. I might have evidence for you. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna go look around first. I guess let's go back to the office to... Talk to Charlie, the plant. Seven years ago, right in coal offices. Oh, morning, Daddy. Oh, I'm so glad you came. You okay, Daddy? They're picking on you. Ah. <laughs> I'm fine, as always. The old boy here is, help. is here to help me, after all. That's a young man to you. Good morning. That's a cute outfit, Yvonne. Thanks. My first show is the day, after all. Two weeks have passed since then. I called her in my office. What she said. Juicy, there's something we need to talk about. It's been two weeks since your father disappeared. We need to start thinking about your future. Um, I did some calling around. This is hard to say, but you have no living relatives. So, I was wondering if you wanted to stay with me for a while. It's until your daddy comes home. It won't be long. I hope. Uh, of course, it's still your choice. If you don't like it here, you can go wherever you like. You look up some places you might like to stay at. This is so weird. Mr. Attorney Day told me about you. He said I could trust you. Huh? Really? So if I stay here, does that mean you'll be my family? Uh huh? Uh, um, I guess so? Getting weirder? Um, Mr. Attorney? Uh, actually, why don't you call me Nick? Or you can call me Daddy if you'd like. Doesn't have to be today or anything. Okay, say daddy. That was quick. Yes. If I move here, I have to switch schools, right? I was thinking, I haven't paid for lunches at my last school for a year. So thanks, daddy. Ah. Oh, in this office, it's a little blah. A little color goes a long way, you know. Ah. Oh, and daddy, you got fired from work, right? Don't you worry one bit. I'll work twice as hard. We'll make, we'll make it through this. Juicy, how old are you? Oh, I'm eight. But don't let appearances deceive you. I'm a young professional. Just stick with me and you're just fine, Daddy. Ah, thanks. Why does it feel like she's already in charge? This is I like this is why I like Juicy. She's just very good. Anyway, the office. So Daddy, you got fired from being a lawyer, right? You could at least you know, kind of look aside or something when you say that. It's actually kind of hard for me. <laughs> it's for Daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Wait, is that foolish pride? My other Daddy always used to talk about that. Uh, actually, that's pretty accurate. So here's my idea. We'll make a new office. Law just seems so stiff, doesn't it? And no one would be my friend at school that way. Well, that won't do, I guess. I just don't know much about anything other than law. Or even much about law, if you were to ask some people. Well, maybe the problem is we're calling it an office. Maybe you should run an agency instead. You mean, like a talent agency? Forgive me for asking, but doesn't that require talent? You got me, don't you? A professional. A professional? Yep. After all, I'm directly descended from the famous Zachary Marte. Directly descended? He's your father. Oh. And now I'm directly considered from the famous Phoenix Wright, too! Like an eight-year-old just massaged my ego. <laughs> Can you tell me a bit more about your daddy, or Zach Marte? Daddy, sure thing, daddy! Which daddy was that again? Daddy's so amazing! The biggest star of the troupe Gamarte, and they're big! The Gamartes. They're on television a lot. I haven't seen them much on recently, come to think of it. Big magic happens when you put Zack and Valent Gamarte in together, you know. Once they made a great waterfall right there on the stage. And then a giant trap strand up the waterfall. Let me guess, there's a giant fisherman waiting for him at the, end of the top. I wish I could have seen more of my daddy's magic. Eh, <laughs> it should never end up so soon. Wonder what will happen to me with daddy and mommy both gone. Mommy? Yeah, what about mommy? I haven't heard anything about Juicy's mother. But I have my magic, and a great daddy, even if he is unemployed. 
you know, I think things are going to be okay. Why don't we talk about her mother? I don't know. We can give it a shot. Professional. So true, see? You're a professional. Yes! Um, it's like the thing they, they say. Baby frogs grow up to be frogs? If they say that. I always thought it was funny, though. What was? Our baby frogs called tadpoles. Maybe they thought it would be easier to understand it that way for kids. How stupid! Right. So, in conclusion... You're a professional magician, Juicy. That's right! Well, well, you wanna see a trick? You're gonna do a magic trick. Sure. Actually, I would like to see your trick. Future of the agency depends on it, after all. That's the spirit! Ready? Here goes! Ta-da! Hey, folks! Mr. Fat! I gotta say, it's good to be seen! Ah! Whoa! That was... startling. The amazing Mr. Fat! Isn't he great? Your friendly neighborhood, Mr. Fat, at your service! He certainly makes a depression. Doesn't he? Haha, uh -huh. I'm so glad you like him, Danny. Although my routines will get a bit heady at times. Ha! Get it heady! My friendly neighborhood, Mr. Hat, nearly gave me a heart attack. Hey, that will do. What does it say, I wonder? Choose his favorite trick, startling realistic. Okay. Good to know. Hey, hold on a minute. Details? Oh, just a picture. All right, got it. Just wondering. Will you talk to me about mommy, Trucy? I would like to know. You tell me about your mommy, if it's okay. Mommy was so pretty. She was like an angel up on stage. On stage, you mean with your daddy? Yep. She was always there with Zack and Valent, smiling. But then she went away. Went away? It was a grand illusion, but she made a mistake. She vanished, and I guess she didn't know how to get back. Maybe so. I cried then, a lot. That's when Daddy gave me this. Here. Ah. This is your mother. She's beautiful. And familiar. Her name's Talis- Talissa? Talas? Talissa? Sure. Her name's Talissa. Talissa Grimarty. Poor girl. And her mommy gone missing. Our daddy's vanished too, right before her eyes. Hey, daddy, you won't. Don't worry, I won't vanish. I promise. Right? You can even do. You can't even do magic. You're, you're like a backup plan. Daddy always said to have a backup plan. I say, I. <laughs> I guess all I read as is a backup plan. I gotta lock it. Cool. I think that's probably enough for today. Sorry to ask you so much at once like that. It's okay. After all, we're family. I hope you're ready. Right, tell agency opens tomorrow. What? But are we representing anyone? Me and you, that makes two, Danny. Then you need more than that to make an agency. Besides, you may be a magician, but I'm no talent. Oh, I'm sure there's something you're good at. Well, you put it that way. You mean you don't have any tricks? No old standbys? This'll not do. A boy should always have a trick or two in his pocket. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. That's the spirit. See you right and early tomorrow, Danny. Mr. Hat, here he comes. What for the team, Daddy O? The team, right. Sometimes when magicians vanish, they leave something behind. That's how Trucy became Trucy, right? My daughter. To be honest, I was pretty lost those first few days. Thinking back on it, it's a pretty dark time in my life. But Trucy, happily smiling Trucy, she was my light. I know, Trucy's great. I got a check mark. All right. Now that we have a check mark, we're a slightly bit further. Is there anything in present? I'm curious. Uh, that's a big negatory. All right. Good. Okay. Next time we come back, we'll continue our trip through the past and present, the Mason system. So, until next time. Objection!